some questions that I often receive is Dr. Lau, what is SQL? Dr. Lau, what is Python? Dr. Lau, what is R? Dr. Lau, what is Power BI? So today, I'll explain all these terminologies so that you can completely understand how we use these tools in data science. Sounds good? Let's go! Now, SQL, Python, R, and Power BI are the tools that data scientists use in our daily tasks. We use them to retrieve data, process data, and also to present data. SQL is the short form for Structured Query Language and is pronounced as SQL. We use SQL to retrieve our data stored inside a server. So let's say you're running a restaurant and you have a database called Restaurant. The database has many tables that store data about our customers, suppliers, and menu. And then, inside the menu table, we store the dishes names, the type of dishes, and the price. For example, fish and chips, main cost, 25 ringgit. Chicken chop, main cost, 18 ringgit. Coffee, drinks, 8 ringgit. Tea, drinks, 4 ringgit. Cheesecake, dessert, 5 ringgit. Cookie, dessert, 2 ringgit. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> now, if we want to retrieve all the desserts from our database, we can then write a SQL query that says, select star from menu where type equals to dessert. This query will help us to retrieve all the dessert items on our menu. Or, if we want to retrieve all the dishes that are below 10 ringgit, we can write a query that says, select star from menu where price less than 10. This will return all the items that are below 10 ringgit. Pretty cool, right? And this is SQL. We use it to retrieve data from our database. Now, after we have retrieved our data, what we need to do next is to process our data. And this is where we need to use a programming language to help us. Hang on a minute. Now, you might want to ask, Hey, Dr. Lau, why can't we just use Excel? Do we really need a programming language for this? The answer is yes, you have to, because there are some limitations with Excel. Well, first of all, Excel can only handle up to 1,048,576 rows. Yep, it might sound a lot. It's sufficient for general use case, but when you have data coming in every minute or multiple tables with hundreds of thousands of rows, Excel becomes very slow and it might have any time. Number two. Excel is unable to handle repetitive and boring tasks. Excel is good when you have a formula and when you want to apply your formula across a dataset. But when you have a repetitive task such as crawling the price and images of 100,000 items from Shopee, or you want to scan your tweeters to find out where your followers are from, this is something that Excel cannot do. Number three, Excel can only perform basic analytics but not machine learning. Excel is good if you want to run descriptive analytics to find out the average, the max, the mean, or to use charts for basic regressions. Or if you are going to use a pivot table to slice and aggregate your data. But if you want to build a classification model, group similar items together using clusterings, or recommend items based on your user preferences, this is something that Excel can't do. So, to overcome these problems, we will need to use a programming language and the two most popular programming languages for data science are Python and R. Now, generally speaking, Python is usually used by anybody from any field, including data scientists, people from computer science or engineering background. R is often used by specialists who have a background in mathematics and statistics. So, if you are a complete beginner who has no background in technology, start with Python first. Because Python is more of a general programming language and we use Python not only in data science, we also use it in web development, IoT, finance, and many other industries. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which programming language that you are using. What is more important is your results and how you deliver your results. Hey, speaking of which, this is when you need Power BI. As the name tells us, Power BI is a BI tool, which stands for Business Intelligence. This means we use business analytics tools like charts, interactive data visualizations, and also data mining techniques to help organizations to make data-driven decisions. And Power BI is one of the popular BI tools developed by Microsoft. 
You can use Power BI to generate dashboards and reports that you can use to extract insights from and also use these insights to answer your burning business questions. Of course, Power BI is not the only BI tool in the market. Other platforms like Tableau, Google Data Studio, Metabase, etc. They are equally powerful alternatives as well. So choosing which BI platform depends on your use case applications and of course your company's budget. By now, I'm sure that you have a much better idea of what those terminologies are and how they can play a role in your job and data career. If you can choose to learn any of these two right now, which one will be your first choice and what would you like to do with it? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.